Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and the substrate is compound interest lesson 2. In a previous lesson, we derived the formula for getting compound interest. And I said that we have two methods that we can use when, when calculating compound interest. And we worked examples using what we call traditional method. Today, I want us to use the compound interest formula and the compound interest formula helps us to generate total amount that is the amount in the bank if you had saved the money at the end of the given time or the amount that was supposed to return after a certain period of time if you had borrowed money from any financial institution therefore the formula says amount is equals to principal multiplied by 1 plus rate over 100 times there's an end there n stands to years r is amount p is principal this is 1 plus rate over 100 remember rate always is given in terms of percentage let's get started to our first example in this example we are told that a group of 300 people contributed shillings 10,000 each the money was deposited in a bank which paid compound interest at a rate of 10 percent per annum how much did the group have at the bank after three years therefore how much did they contribute in total they contributed one person is 10,000 and now there are three 300 people will be how much we cross multiply and our x is equals to 3 million so this is the money deposited and the money deposited is, is what we call principal amount so let's apply our principal amount it's three million our rate is 10 percent which is 10 over 100 so let's apply this formula amount is equals to principal which is 3 million bracket 1 plus 10 over 100 our n it's 3 now remember this 3 it's for whatever is inside the brackets so this let's solve here 1 plus 10 over 100 the LCM is 1 the LCM of 1 and 100 is 100 so all this is under LC LCM 100 100 divided by 1 it's 100 times 1 it's it's 100 plus 10 which is 110 over 100 so this formula now we applied 300 3 million multiplied by 110 over 100 power 3 means we multiply 3 times so 110 over 100 times 3, 110 over 100 it's like when if it was a square if it was square it means you multiply the number by itself but because it is cubed we multiply the number by itself three times so 110 times 110 times 110 so let's now cross multiply zero goes with zero 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 this zero goes with that one and this zero goes with that one so 11 times 11 it's 121 121 times 11 it's 1 2 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 all this multiplied by 3000 so we multiply here by 3 first remember to add our two zero three zeros so that is 3 9 9 3 therefore we put our two, three zeros there 3 9 nine three one two three so this is the amount that was there in the bank at the end of three years remember it's asking amount and this formula gives us straight away the amount but if this question we were to be asked about the compound interest for the three years how do we get it remember this is amount and how do we get amount amount is equals to Compound interest plus the principal. So the principal is the money deposited. Therefore, we can use this formula for us to get the unknown. And the unknown is the compound interest. Compound interest is equal to the amount 
we have got is three million nine hundred and ninety three thousand is equals to compound interest we can call it x because we don't know we are looking for it plus principal amount and the principal amount was three million so now we use algebra for us to come up with the unknown we take this to the other side it was plus becomes minus minus three million Therefore, the compound interest was 993,000. In our second example, we are told that our father got a loan of shilling 6,000 and repaid it after two years. If the compound interest on the loan was 10% per annum, how much did he pay? You need to understand what he's supposed to pay. When you borrow money, you're supposed to pay the money that you had taken plus the profit that money generated. So according to this question, the interest was compound interest. Therefore, the profit generated was in terms of compound interest. So whatever she returned was the money borrowed plus the compound interest. So let's get this total amount that was repaid after two years. And amount is equal to principal bracket one plus rate over 100 and the time is here I'll say here therefore amount will be principal and our principal is 6,000 brackets 1 plus rate and our rate is 10 over 100 and our n is 2 power 2 means squared therefore when you get the LCM this is like 100 plus 10 which is 110 over 100. So 6,000 multiplied by, because here it's squared, we're squaring this. 110 over 100 times 110 over 100. So now we cross multiply. This zero goes with that, and this zero goes with that. 11 times 11 is 121 multiplied by 60. 12, carry one, 6 plus 1, 7. Therefore, the amount this farmer paid back to the bank or whatever she borrowed the money was a total of 7,260. Remember, she had only borrowed 6,000, but now she's returning 7,260. So the extra amount is for the compound interest. We have already answered our question. In this example, we are told that John deposited 1,000 in a bank which pays compound interest at a rate of 10% per annum. He collected all his money at the end of two years. What was the interest earned? Our formula, remember, gives us the amount. But we know how to get the compound interest when you have the amount. Therefore, let's apply our formula. Amount is equal to the principal bracket 1 plus rate of 100 bracket n. And n is the number of years. So amount is equal to the principal is the amount that was deposited. And John deposited 1,000. Therefore, our principal amount is 1,000. 1 plus our rate of 10 over 100. And the time taken was 2 years. Therefore, the amount is equal to a thousand brackets. The health sum of one and a hundred is a hundred. A hundred divided by one, it's a hundred times one is a hundred. Plus ten is one ten over a hundred. All this, whatever is inside here, squared. Therefore, a thousand multiplied by whatever is inside there, we are squaring it. Remember to square number is multiplied by itself. So zero goes with zero, zero with zero, zero. That zero goes with that, and that with that. Therefore, eleven times eleven is one hundred and twenty-one multiplied by ten. One hundred and twenty-one multiplied by ten, it's one thousand two hundred and ten. What is this? This is the amount. The amount is the total amount that was there in the bank at the end of the two years. Therefore, the amount is 1,210. Remember, John had deposited 1,000. 
but at the end of two years the amount that is in the bank is 1,210, meaning the extra money is the compound interest or the profit. And the question is asking about the interest. So how can we get the interest? Amount is equal to the compound interest plus the principal amount. Therefore, our amount is 1,210 is equal to the compound that we don't know which is X plus principal amount of 1000 now we, we are looking for the value of x which is the compound interest and we don't know so like terms together it was plus it, it went crosses to the other set becomes minus so minus a thousand and our compound interest generated was 210 shillings i wish you the best and kindly remember to subscribe press notification bell and also share with your friends also practice, remember practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.